it's Tim, and well, it's been a long time, hadn't it? Well, like I told you in one of my last videos, is that when I find something that works for me, I pretty much stick with it, so that's why I haven't done a review lately, because I really haven't had that much that's changed since I did the uh, video on the Penguin. Although I did get a couple other products that I've tried and it worked pretty good for me. I was real excited when I was able to finally get one of these in, and it is brand new from Minokin. It's uh, known all across the world as the Riptide, but for some reason here in the U.S. we've got the version that's called the AMVS. comes in uh, this box right here. This part goes in this part, and you just take it apart. And anyway, that's kind of what it looks like on the outside. Nothing too fancy on the box here. And on the inside, you get your accessories over here, USB cable. Uh, looks like that and then of course you get some general warnings some stickers battery card and that kind of stuff and on this side you get an extra glass an extra coil and then of course the tank and the uh, mod go right there but of course I've already gotten them out because I just got this yesterday and I've been vaping it non-stop in fact I just charged it for the first time it took about two and a half hours to charge it but this is the star of the show, the Enokin AMVS, or like I said, uh, over in Europe and other countries, it's called the uh, Riptide. Difference is that the uh, everywhere else in the world, it's, it's an all-black body, and it has different color buttons. In the United States, you can get a black one with an orange button, or this green one with the uh, orange button. They both come with the black Cryos, or is it Cryos? I call it Cryos. We'll call it Cryos for this video. Anyway, it's the uh, Cryos tank. has a 0.25 coil in it, and they do recommend that that be the only coil that you use for it. And uh, so far, I am super excited about this vape. And uh, does blow some good clouds. Let's do a few specs on it here so you can make your own decisions about it. The uh, AMVS comes with a 3000 mAh built-in battery. Um, has the Cryos sub ohm tank. Uh, comes with two of the Cryos uh, 0.25 bottom vertical coils. Spare glass, charging cable, the USB cable I showed you, and a quick start guide. Oh, the quick start guide. Let me show you that little nifty tent thing that comes with it. This is basically your instructions. Remember how they used to give these great big booklets with all your instructions on it? This is basically your instructions. On the inside here you can see there's more instructions. But, I mean, it's kind of cool, very visual, uh, easy to follow. But then again, this device here isn't exactly, doesn't exactly take a brain surgeon to use it anyway. Thank God, because I'm not a brain surgeon, even though I played one on the radio one time. Um, wow, what have I got to say about it? It's really easy to use. There's no adjustments to it. It's just the uh, battery, and you can see it has those indicator lights there. It has three lights. When it's three lights, that means it's full. When it gets down to two lights, that means it's somewhere between like 30 and 50 percent or something like that. And when it gets down to uh, one light, that means it's uh, between 10 and 30 percent or somewhere in that area. They say once it gets down to one light as you're using it, that uh, that's the time that you need to uh, charge it. And like I said, it does take about two and a half hours to charge. The uh, tank itself, pretty basic. I know a lot of you uh, may have this from the uh, Chroma, uh, the Chroma A, which uh, came out. Oh, about five or six months ago, I guess. And uh, this tank was wildly popular. And I don't understand. It's just, it's not available anymore. It's really hard to find the tank by itself, let alone the uh, coils. But uh, I added on this. It didn't come with this uh, longer 510 drip tip. Fortunately, I had a uh, drip tip adapter from uh, one of my smoke mods. This is the uh, drip tip that it actually comes with. And it's not bad. It's just not my type of drip tip. It's a uh, 810 drip tip. It's got a couple of uh, the uh, 
O-rings around it there that make it a little bit different than your normal uh, your normal uh, 810 drip tips. But like I said, I like these longer drip tips because it's more like my whole thing about vaping is that it's kind of got to feel like I have to have that feel of what a cigarette was like. It just I don't know, it's just something about the way it is, and I prefer these longer drip tips like this. It doesn't really make that big a difference for, you know, the amount of vape that you get, but it's just something that I myself prefer. Tank is real easy to fill. Top fill tank here. Real easy to screw off the top. And I'm not used to doing these on the desk here, so give me just a second. Let me get this filled up for you. I'm using my own RY4 liquid today that I make all my liquids myself. So you got these two great big air holes slots here that you just stick it in. Fill it up. Put your top cap back on again. Put back on your mod, the AMVS. And if you've been seeing any advertisements from Anokin, like on Facebook or uh, Twitter or any place like that, they've been promoting the Riptide for months now. And like I said, they came out with this different name and little different colored version for the U.S. And it's called the AMVS. But anyway, very easy. That, that's all there is to it. You just push the button. And vape. And like I say, there's no adjustments to it. It's just the button. You can see your lights there. See that it's fully charged because I did just charge it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now, one thing that I, I've always been a fan of the tube mods. When I quit smoking, that was what got me through it. In fact, this is one of my favorite mods of all time. It's the Anokin SVD2. And uh, I had been hoping and hoping and hoping. This thing came out in like 2014, I think is when it was. So it's been almost three and a half years since this came out. So I had been hoping they would come out with something that was a little more manageable, a little bit smaller. As you can see, the SVD2 was quite a bit larger. It only went up to 20 watts. Um, this thing will put out a total of up to 65 watts, I believe I read on it. But, um, you know, it just goes, puts out by the amount of battery that's got left in it. So as the battery goes down, the power of your vape is going to go down a little bit too. So when it's fully charged, is when you're going to get your biggest clouds. And uh, it does do uh, real good on that. Really impressed with it, real happy with it. Very lightweight. It's got this rubbery coating on it, so it doesn't slip in your hand at all. It's one thing I had issue with on the uh, old style tube mods is they were really slick kind of hard to hold on to this isn't slick at all it's just man it just feels so nice in your hand and uh, something to compare it to I do have one of the uh, smoke baby sticks as you can see it's just a little bit bigger than the uh, baby uh, stick baby bee stick but probably about similar in size to the big baby stick, which I don't have one of those. But anyway, that kind of gives you a comparison. It's kind of along the same same lines as the uh, smoke uh, stick line of vapor products that smoke has. But again, been waiting on Anokin to do one because I knew they would. And I knew when they did. It would be good. And I have literally haven't put it down. I got it yesterday about 2. The battery ran out about 11 this morning. And I did sleep eventually sometime between then. So I'd say it came what I think is fully charged, but it may not have been totally fully charged. So I'm going to say you're going to get anywhere from 10 to maybe 16 hours out of this. 
Uh, of course, depending on how much you vape, you might get, you know, six or eight. But I know for me, it's going to be an all-day vape because, you know, it'll it'll last that long with a 3,000 mAh battery in it. All right, well, anyway, I just wanted to try this up close thing so you can get a better look at it now that I have a bigger desk. So if you want, we'll go up here to the do what they call FaceTime so you can kind of get a better idea of how it vapes. Uh, right now, because it is brand new, um, I got this from my vapor store. They're already out of the coils for it, so I haven't been able to find them anywhere else. Hopefully, Anokin will uh, get some of those shipped out so that uh, you'll have some choices for some places to pick up some extra coils. Don't know how long the coils last because, like I say, I just got this yesterday. I might uh, update in the notes whenever I figure out, you know, just how long the coils last. But I've got three of them, so hopefully they'll last for a week or two at least <laughs> until my vapor store can get restocked on the coils. Anyway, this was just kind of a quick look today. Again, it's the Inokin AMVS. Haven't seen any videos on it yet, so I thought I'd get one out so if people were even considering it, that uh, they'd give it a shot and see what they think. Hope you have a great day, and here's to vape laxing.